Hey homies, what's up? Jester here, and finally we can conclude the unboxing for December. Um, I know it's this, now the second week of January, and I want to start off by saying a huge, huge thank you to the uh, the team over at Hero Crate. Um, I don't know the level of the operation there. Um, this is a relatively new crate for me. I've probably been at it for a little while. But more specifically, the team that handles their Twitter side of their social media, thank you so very much. Um, those of you who watched the previous videos have seen that there's been, I've been waiting, not knowing what's going on. They've stepped up and they've helped me out, get things situated, get things squared away. And again, I, I can't say thank you enough, but the box has arrived. December's Villain Crate is here, and this is awesome. I'm excited. While it sucked having to wait as long as I did, the anticipation, what's going to be in it, because I've done anything and everything that I can to avoid spoilers. I did that with Hero Crate. was pleasantly surprised. More so that there was a shirt missing. Um, however, I contacted them, and it should be resolved, hopefully here soon. Um, but anyhow... Hero Crate aside, we're going to concentrate on Villain Crate. So let's dive right into the box. Okay, um, right off the bat, a little handwritten note. You don't see that that often. Apologies for the missing shirt, Chris. If you didn't know, that's my name. You know now. Thanks for being with us, team at Hero Crate. See, it's these little things. Stuff like this. They didn't have to go through all that. Yeah, it takes a handful of seconds. Just scribble something out. But this is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Thank you so very much. And right there, right on top, is the shirt from the Hero Crate box. Obviously, it's very small because it is not for me. Hero Crate was originally designed for Little Man. Um, it was going to be a Christmas present here in January. But go ahead and get a good look at it. Han Solo playing the Kessel Run with Chewie. I am a huge arcade gamer. Uh, back in the day, I ran an arcade um, fresh out of high school, and I was the assistant general manager for an arcade. How cool was that? And then a shirt like this, he's going to really like this shirt. So I'm excited for this, and when he gets home tonight from school and whatnot, I'm sure he will be too. Um, okay, now that... That being that, now we truly can put Hero Crate aside because, well, the shirt is here. And for Villain Crate, the shirt that comes in it, this one's badass. Um, I'll go ahead and throw it up there. Samurai Vader with the red and the blue lightsabers. Now, those of you that don't know, there are times that I, I like everybody, I change my wallpaper on my desktop periodically. I actually have one of Samurai Vader. We are huge Star Wars nerds here in the house. And this is small. Um, this is a size medium. I haven't been a size medium in over 20 years. Which means I probably screwed up the shirt sizes. Which is entirely possible. So Little Man is lucking out once again. Because this shirt is going to him as well. Because I'm not going to be able to fit in it. You lucky little bastard. However, I am not going to contact Hero Crate saying, hey, you sent me the wrong size. I am not going to do that. I am going to hope that when they sell their stuff, that they sell extras of this shirt um, to where I can get my own and continue supporting Hero Crate because the lengths that they went to make sure I was taken care of. That's how awesome I think they're of the job that they're doing. Okay, bag tag for Hero Trooper to go with the bag tag BB-8 from Hero Crate. We have the Empire Strikes Back bookmark with a frame. It looks like the scene where they're trying to put R2 or uh, C-3PO's leg back together with R2-D2. That's pretty cool. And of course, the Funko Pop is Kylo Ren. So what's going to happen 
is because I am certain we have this one. We did not have the ray that we received in Hero Crate, so that one's going to go up top. This one's going to go to Little Man. I know he's going to end up taking it out of the box and playing with it and do whatever he does. The Funkos. Some of them go back on the shelf. That's either here nor there. I'm going to give it to him. So he made out like a bandit with these two crates compared to me. But I'm very happy. I think this concept is amazing. You had the light side, so to speak. The hero side. You had the villain side. And they directly lined up. Which makes me look forward to February that much more. Because that's when the next villain crate is coming out. Hero Crate runs monthly. Villain Crate runs bi-monthly. So, um, yeah. The anticipation now gets to build for another month and a half until that one comes out. But, again, this is awesome. This is absolutely amazing. Go ahead and put this stuff back here in the box. Get this out of the way real quick. And finish things up. Okay, like I said, you guys at Hero Crate, thank you so very much. Um, I want to point fingers, but there have been other organizations I've tried to contact and have had next to no success getting any feedback from. Now, going forward, um, I'm just waiting on an affiliate link. Hopefully, they'll get back soon. With and that was an email. I would laugh my ass off if that was the affiliate link, but. Hopefully I'll get that affiliate link soon. I'll be putting that on Twitter here in the videos to where those of you that watch the stuff that don't have Hero Crate, you guys can check it out because not only is the box is pretty cool, but this customer support that they give is absolutely amazing. So that being said, the month of December is done. January is upon us for unboxings. And so here soon we will be getting we will be getting our new boxes and beginning the unboxings for the month of January. So until next time, guys, take it easy. I'll catch up with you then.